staples I like to use. These are galvanized barb staples. And in this bucket, we have a bunch of other staples that aren't barbed, like this. I mean, I haven't done any research, but these are useless. They will not hold nothing onto a post. Just for future reference, in case you're wondering. So it's a little redneck, but uh, we just had this piece of panel that we had cut from something else. So we just flipped it over to fit in this gap here instead of cutting a new panel. Because, um, well, these hog panels that we bought this year are $99. And when we bought them two years ago, they were $57. So the price of everything has went up. So if we can save a little bit of money, I guess we might as well. And we'll just put some boards on top of here. To make it a little bit more sturdy and then we got to build a little gate here There's the finished gate. Actually, we got this gate from when we bought our modular home. Um, the modular home came with a deck and this gate was on the stairs to the deck. And we've used it actually for a pig pen before, but we just kind of had it sitting around and figured we put it to use again instead of building a brand new one and instead of cutting up another hog panel to make a gate. So we have uh, gates kind of like this. Nothing fancy, but they're kind of framed up like that with a hog panel in the middle. So, whatever. We'll just use this because it's, well, it's free. And then, uh, we're not quite done, but we're going to take this panel off of his pen that he's in now so that he's got a bigger pen. And then we can feed him in this corner here and it'll just be, uh, it'll be nice for him. We are currently trying to get this panel off of the posts and it's really fun because we have to dig through this mud to get to the bottom staples to get them pulled out. Aww. Super fun.
So this little spot here was Hammy's old pen. Definitely uh, too small for sure. Too small for him. Um, I know that pigs, like everybody knows that when you put them in a pen, it becomes kind of a sacrificial area, but this is just too small of a pen for him. So I'm really glad that he's got uh, some more space now. There's his new pen, all done, all finished. I feel happy for him. I also feel happy for myself that I don't have to track through the mud to get his feed dishes. This post in the middle here, it's gonna be a nightmare to get it out. So we just left it in there because it's not hurting anything. And he can scratch on it. There it is, there's the new boar pen. It would be much better for his well-being. And he can go on this side of the barn and sit beside it and suntan. <laughs>